What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? It's just getting more Randy. How you doing today? I hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. It is extremely hot outside, you guys. Heat waves are pouring through all over Richmond, Virginia, Zone 7, you guys. And I just want to give you some tips on how to be safe. But let's get rid of the preliminaries. How you doing? I love you guys. Okay, okay. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button, you guys. Click a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers. Okay. Okay, I love you guys, you're the best. And share the video, leave a comment, you guys. It always helps out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You are truly a blessing. We are on our way to 8,000. We may be at 8,000 by the time I finish this video. Yes, you guys, we are growing by leaps and bounds, and I thank you so very much. I thank you guys so much. So let's just dive right into this video. Today, I want to discuss with you some tips on how to protect your garden during this extreme heat, you guys. It's like a uh, heat index out here of like 105. It's hot, okay? So I'm not going to be out here long because I don't want to fall out. Y'all know I falls out. See? Hey, come on back. Yes, you guys, it's hot. So if I start sweating, it's extremely hot. So we're going to make this short and sweet, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, water, 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 okay? Now, don't just think you water your stuff all day long, every day in this extreme heat. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. What you do want to do is, first of all, make yourself hydrated. Drink you some water. Keep you a bottle of water. If you have an apron, keep you a bottle in your apron. Put mine in my pocket because I don't have a garden apron. Okay, okay. I love you guys. So, yeah, hydrate yourself. Drink plenty of water, you guys, because you're sweating. You're out in the garden. You're working. Try not to work in the extreme heat, first of all, if you can avoid it. And hydrate yourself, okay? And then hydrate your plants. Try to do it early in the morning, you guys. Reason being, if you do it early in the morning before the sun gets to the height of its day and, and the heat, it'll sit. Your plants can feed off of it all morning. They can feed off of that water all morning. Versus if you plant your, uh, if you water your plants in the middle of the day, the sun's evaporating that water. So the water is constantly disappearing. Your plants are trying to eat it, and it's like somebody taking food out your mouth. You know, if somebody just take some food out your mouth, you be like, if you don't get it, step back off, okay, okay. Hold on, y'all, look, I see a bug. Yep, he's trying to jump into the video. I'll be right back, you guys. Got him. Yeah. He ain't getting our video because we ain't got no money to be spending that bug all in our video and stuff. He ain't paid for this camera. He ain't got no money. And I ain't got no money. <laughs> ain't nobody got no money, y'all. Y'all know we don't play that. Keep them bugs back. But anyway, yeah, you guys, water early in the morning. What happens is you put all that water and soak it good, especially when you know it's going to be extremely hot. Soak it, you guys. Soak it, soak it, soak it. And it'll sit. It'll have a couple of hours to absorb all that it needs for the day. And it'll reach out to the leaves. And it'll stay there for a long time, long time during the heat of the day. It'll still have all that good water in it. You may get some drooping, which is normal. It's just saving its energy for when it cools down. They'll bounce right back up most times if you're doing it like you're supposed to. If you're watering on a regular. You can't let them dry out, you guys. Please don't ever let your plants go bone dry because you can ruin the root system. And it'll never... Uh, bounce back from that okay so try not to feed it in the heat of the day if you have to feed in the heat of the day some people schedule that's all they can do feed it around the base not all over the leaves because that's how you're going to get a lot of mold and when the humidity is high it'll start getting that fuzzy white mold and that's what we don't want okay so Feed it towards the roots, Try not, trying to avoid the leaves, and go ahead and soak it. If that's the only time of day that you can do it, that's your choice. I mean, that's what you have to do, okay? Okay, you do what you got to do. You know how we do. We don't follow the books. We do what we got to do, how we want to do it, when we want to do it. That's our farm, okay? And that's your farm. You do what you want to do, okay? But this is just some tips to help you along the way. So, watering is very, very important. You can also water late in the evening. I try to water twice a day, early in the morning and late at night. That way... All the water that has evaporated during the day, I replenish it at night, and there's no sun, so the water just sets, it sits there, and the plants can absorb everything that they lost during that day, okay? So, you know, watering is very, very important for yourself and for your garden. Shade. Try to give your garden shade. If you're in an area like this spot right here, I have my raised bed and my corn, I want this in a, a totally full sun spot. Because everything I have in here planted is like a full sun variety, okay? You know, my peppers, um, you can see them over there. Yeah, I'll get you guys a little tour before we finish. And, um, you know, look at these beautiful flowers. 
They all love the sun. They're thriving, actually. They're thriving in the sun. So if you have like basil, your herbs, they love heat, stuff like that, thyme, stuff like that. They can deal with the heat. So plant yourself stuff like that if you can. And if you can, shade your items, you guys. Like I tell you, I use like this little cloth here, and it's very thin. But you can fold it up as many times as you need to give it a shade. That way it's still getting the benefits of the UV rays and the sunlight, but it has a, a thin coating of shade over. You know how you put an umbrella hat on or put an umbrella over yourself to keep yourself a little cool? You still feel the heat, but you don't have that sun beaming directly on you. That's what it's going to do for your plants. You can also use big beach umbrellas. If you have those, like this would be a perfect spot. Uh, for a big beach umbrella right in here in my raised bed. I can stick it right down in the middle and cover that whole area, you know, during the day. So that's another option. Try to shade your plants. If you're in a very high sun area, try to give them some shade. If you're seeing your plants wilting all the time, yeah, you guys, they're stressed. They're stressed. They're stressed and they may need a little shade and they may be burning up because some people are in Arizona and Las Vegas and their heat is really extreme, you know, so you have to do what you have to do. Mulching. Mulching is always good. If you are um, a person that has mulch around your garden, it holds moisture. It shades your soil. It keeps your soil from being sunburned and dried out. So you can water your mulch very, very good, and it holds that moisture up under the mulch. So if you like mulching, use mulch. You know, it works great. Weeds. Okay, now, try to avoid as many weeds as you can in your garden. Weeds are sucking up water. That's how they grow so rampant, so fast, all over the place. They just, they just suck up water. Suck up water and sprout out. Wow. Wherever they want to go. Wild weeds, okay? Wild weeds, okay? But yeah, try to avoid as many weeds as you can. Pick as many as you can out of your garden if they're around your vegetables because they're taking water from your plants, you guys. So, weeding, that's another thing. Another common mistake that a lot of people make is okay it's extremely hot my plants are stressed i need to show them some more love let me fertilize no! don't fertilize your plants when it's extremely hot you guys if you know it's going to be hot in a day or two do not fertilize do not fertilize only fertilize when you know it's going to be a little bit like 80 and below but if you have an 85 90s hundreds please don't put the fertilizer on your plant because what's going to happen is it's just like a human being. If you're out here in this heat and you start eating a whole lot of food, whatever kind of food you like, chicken, pig feet, chitlins, ham, turkey, sausage. If you walk around the state fair eating all that stuff in the extreme heat, no shade, no water, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, your body's trying to digest all that food and your body is trying to protect itself from the extreme heat. So you start to sweat. You have nothing going in, but you have things coming out. You're going to start feeling sluggish. You're gonna, you may get sick. You may even pass out. Same thing with your plants. If you fertilize your plants in the middle of this extreme heat, what they're doing, the plant is already struggling to pour water and keep water and just keep water coming up. You know, it, it's trying to keep itself hydrated. Okay, okay, that plant is thirsty. So the plant is trying to absorb all that water and, and, and it's trying to, you know, keep its leaves healthy and get that water up to its leaves. And here we go. Let me dash some fertilizer on it and help her along the way. No, no, no. What you're going to do is stress her because she's already working hard. It's extremely hot outside. She's trying to suck up all her water. Then you pour that fertilizer on it and fertilizer is going to feed her even more. And then she's on top of trying to drink all that water. She's trying to eat all that food at the same time. Okay, okay. And she is not going to like that. It's going to stress her. That's too much work on her. The sun is beaming on her. She's already trying to stay hydrated. Here you go adding some extra food, a, a boost of caffeine. And she just will... It will stress her out. So if you can avoid fertilizing your plant in the heat of the day, do not fertilize your plants in the heat of the day. I know you think you're helping Mother Nature out, but she has that part, okay? So only fertilize when it's about 80, 80 degrees and below. Anything above that, you could be damaging your plants, okay, you guys? So that's just some quick tips on how to protect your garden in the heat of this heat wave that we're having and how to keep your garden safe from all the heat and, and the stress of the heat. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's your skinny boy, Randy. Don't forget, live, love, laugh, grow stuff and eat it. Let me show you what's going on right now out here in the garden so we have more pepper plants coming on you see down in there got more of our peppers 
they're just coming up all over the place look at that corn you know I'm so proud of the corn and she just grows more and more every day we got rid of our horn worms and now our cherry tomatoes are trying to bounce back from the horn worm issue okay yeah you guys some of our flowers that attract all the bees over here some of our big boy tomatoes they're coming back see see them big boys over there they're coming on back yeah you guys and also when you overplant like this in a raised bed my soil is so moist because of all the leaves and all the foliage look how moist that soil is in the heat of the day yeah so all that extra stuff is actually working to our benefit. It's keeping the, the soil nice and cool and shaded. So yeah, you guys, there you have it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay, I love you guys. You're the best. Don't forget, get your Skinny Boy Randy t-shirt. We still have them available. I love you guys.